demonstrate how to begin entering production data for your flock on NSIP. So to manage all of your data, you'll be given the Pedigree Master Software Program when you enroll in NSIP. Do have some other videos available on how to download and set up your copy of the Pedigree Master. And all these instructions are in step-by-step -step format within the Pedigree Master Manual. So there's multiple ways to enter data. But today I'm going to show you the very basic way. So to get started, what we're trying to do is we're trying to add a record. So from the home screen, we're going to click on Add and Change Records. So since all of the production data is tied to an animal's 16-digit ID number, that's where we're going to start. If you're not familiar with the process of generating those 16-digit ID numbers, I do have another video available to uh, show you how to do that. And again, those instructions are also in the Pedigree Master Manual. Okay. So for today's example, we're going to use a Targi flock, and we'll say that this animal was uh, in the flock 1, 2, 3, 4 within the Targi breed. Say that he was born in 2015. So we'll do 2015-15, and we'll say that his ear tag number is 5079. Then we're going to start to in input the pedigree information for that animal. Okay. So we're going to start with the sire. And just for example, we're going to say that uh, this sire um, was a purchase sire, so he's a different flock ID number. We'll say that he was born in 2013, and his ear tag number is 1234. Okay. When we quick, try to click out of that field, it's going to ask us, do you want to add the sire to the sire pick list and database? So we're going to click on yes. And this is going to help us out with uh, data input for other animals because if uh, he's used to sire other lambs, when we get uh, into their fields, instead of typing in that whole ID number, we can click on this arrow on the right-hand side and choose that ram out of the sire pick list. Okay, then we're going to input that dam, uh, the dam of our, our lamb here. So we'll say that he's uh, from a, a ewe that's from our flock, a 2014 born animal, and 1234 is its ID number. Okay. Then we can put in the sex of the lamb. We'll say this is a ram lamb. Uh, so we we'll select one for ram. The birth type, okay. we'll say he was a twin born. We'll say that he was a twin raised. Then we can input conception method. So by default, uh, it goes to unknown, or which is also a natural. Okay. But if it, the lamb happens to be a product of an embryo transfer or artificial insemination, we can denote that here. Okay. We'll say he was a natural born. And if you happen to know what the conception date was, we can input that here. If you don't know, we can just leave that field blank. Okay, we can also assign this lamb a lambing ease score. Okay. If you happen to, um, if you didn't happen to see this lamb being born, um, by default it goes to unobserved. But if you were there, um, say you had to, to offer a little bit of assistance, it was an easy pull, you can denote that here. Or if he was a hard pull, um, you know, whatever he was, you can put that in. You don't have to put anything in that field. By default, it goes to unobserved. We can then assign that animal a nickname. By default, it goes to the last six digits of his 16-digit ID number. Okay? But if you actually had a name for that animal, you can go ahead and put that in there, um, whatever you so choose for that nickname. We then want to assign a status to that animal. So if the animal's still in the flock, we're going to keep him as current. But if he got sold off, we can click on sold. Um, if he's missing or if he uh, happened to die or he was called, we can denote that here. But if he's still in the flock, we're going to click on current. Okay. We then want to assign a contemporary group for that animal. So the contemporary group is uh, essentially the management group uh, that he was born into. So for the majority of our flock, we can keep them as a contemporary group one. But if uh, we have a weight lambing group, we can click on uh, the weight lambers. Um, if they're out of season or early, we can denote that here. We can also input any comments that we have. Okay, so say this animal is um, a really good animal and we want to make sure that we uh, take a look at him later, we can say that he's a, pro a stud prospect. Okay. But uh, you can put any comments or notes that you ha might happen to have on the animal. So say if he's a, you know, a targi flock and he um, uh, might have a, some colored wool on him, um, for instance, and we want to make sure we get rid of that. Okay, we can also put that in this comment section. Then we're going to actually input the actual performance data we have on that animal. So we'll start off with the birth weight of the animal. Okay? So we'll say that that lamb was born on um, the 3rd of March in 2015. So this is where we need to remember when we set up the pedigree master uh, how we denoted how we want to input our, our dates, our, our date format. So again, we had the choice if we wanted to go to month, month, day, day, and then year. 
Um, but we just need to remember whichever one that we chose. So we can actually put in the, the birth weight of this animal. And we'll say that he was uh, 9.5 pounds at birth. Okay. Then we'll go to uh, weaning. Say we have his weaning weights. Okay. We'll say that we weaned him um, on the 5th of May in 2015. And for example, he weighed 68 pounds at weaning time. Okay. We can move on to our different fields. We'll say in the early post weaning time period, uh, we also went ahead and weighed him again. And we'll say that that was out in uh, July. And we'll say that that was on uh, the 12th of July, 2015. And we'll say he weighed um, 128 pounds there. Okay. If we have carcass ultrasounds, we can also put those uh, that data in here as well. So we'll say that when we uh, ultrasounded him, he had 1.3 millimeters of back fat. And we'll say he had a 48 millimeter eye muscle depth. Right. So any information we have, we can go ahead and put that in. So if we have fleece characteristics on these, these animals, okay, uh, you'll notice that these fields are gray right now. But if we want to input that data, we go up here to the top, and we're going to check this box that says show wool and fleece data entry fields. So by checking that, these are now white, and you can go ahead and input data in those. Okay? So we'll say we did take some, uh, some fleece characteristics on those, um, and we'll say we did that um, in August uh, 12th of 2015. So his grease fleece weight was six and a half pounds. And you can also tab through these fields and say his fiber diameter was 21 microns. So any data that you have for your animal can go into these fields. Okay, what data you choose to collect is going to depend on what is important to your operation, what you're trying to improve. It's also going to depend on um, what your customers want. So if your customers want to see certain production data, you're going to want to make sure you take the, that, collect that and input that data. So once we have all the information that we have uh, put into our fields here, all we do is we simply click on Save Record. Okay. You know, the record saved, we can move on to the next animal. Okay. Okay. So when we're done entering data, um, again, we move on to our different animals. Uh, if you have any questions throughout this entire time point, um, please consult the, the Pedigree Master Manual. It's available to all producers. So it's up on the website. Okay. Or you can also feel free to call or email us at NSIP and we'd be glad to help you out.